Hey viewers, welcome back to the King Kong Review Series. Well, Con G is over and quite frankly I'm having the post-con blues because today I got a review a not very good movie. I mean, it's it's not a bad movie, it's just not good. So, let's not waste any time and take a look at the 1969 schlock known as the Mighty Gorga. Circus owner Mark Remington is concerned that he is about to go bankrupt. On hearing of an overgrown gorilla named Gorga in Africa, he travels there with an aim of capturing it to be used as an attraction in a circus. On arrival, the hunter who originally reported the gorilla is nowhere to be found, but his daughter April says that he's been kidnapped. Together, she and Mark set off in order to find both Gorga and her father. Meanwhile, Morgan, a rival hunter, is also on their trail. Tricking through the jungle, Mark remarks on the strange vegetation, saying it looks prehistoric. On discovering some giant eggs, the pair are suddenly menaced by a dinosaur. Soon, Gorgor arrives and defeats the dinosaur while Mark and April make their escape. Eventually, they arrive on a local settlement where they discover April's father, Tonga Jack, who has befriended the natives. The natives, led by the witch doctor, are offering up sacrifices to Gorga in return for their safety. Mark and April discover a treasure chest in a nearby set of caves, which Morgan attempts to steal, but he is struck down by Gorga, as is the witch doctor. A nearby volcano erupts, devastating the surrounding area. With her father rescued, April escapes with Mark, deciding to leave Gorga in his habitat. They agree to return to America to get married. This is honestly one of the weakest of the Kong films, both in story and in effects. Yeah, it's gonna look bad because it's a low-budget film, but that's no excuse. The characters and plot are boring as hell, and the effects kind of suck. Although the gorilla suit is much better than in Konga. The only scenes worth watching are with Gorga, and even then there's not much to see. 90% of the movie is just Mark and April through the jungle. The T-Rex is shit. It looks like a mix between a wooden sculpture and a finger puppet. Speaking of which, this is a good time to discuss the DVD. It was released by Something Weird Video, a great company giving forgotten snobby low-budget exploitation films a good quality DVD release. The Mighty Gorga DVD is a double feature loaded with extra stuff. The second film is called One Million ACDC. Don't let the title fool you, it has nothing to do with the band. It's an exploitation film. All it is is caveman porn. That's it. And yes, I have watched bits and pieces of it and it's boring as shit. What I wanted to bring up is that the T-Rex from the Mighty Gorga makes an appearance but only in stock footage and his acting is very wooden. Literally. The film was also directed by Ed Wood Jr. Yes, the son of the acclaimed director that made some of the worst films of all time. There are other cool things on this DVD, but maybe I'll talk about those another time. Overall, The Mighty Gorga is weak. It's a bad low-budget movie with boring characters and crappy effects. If you're a hardcore Kong fan, I'd say pick it up. Otherwise, stay away. This shit is cinema snob territory. 3 out of 10. Well, there you have it, folks. The Mighty Gorga, the really lazy and not very good production. But next time, we're going to go into the 1970s and take a look at a film which is far superior. I'm not going to say which one it is, but I will say, here's to the big one.